Hello, my name is Audrey and I'm going to be going through my project 2 description with you guys, which is the serial transmission of data using the DHT11 temperature sensor. Um, so some of the requirements that I decided to point out a little bit more specifically is how we were going to create the embedded system. Um, for my embedded system, I decided to download and use the DHT library, which better gave me functionality to use my DHT11 sensor. I set up the embedded system with the correct wiring. Uh, let me actually show you what it looks like right now. I do have an assistant with me. <laughs> so as you can see, my embedded system, I'm using the analog and a zero pin with ground and five volts. And for this video demonstration, I'm gonna be showing the serial transmission of the data with the sensor in cold and warm water. All right, back to the requirements. So what I made sure to do is capture the data from the sensor accordingly, convert the temperature to Fahrenheit, calibrate the sensor. And I initially did this by doing this hot, this hot and cold water test. And then I determined from the output that we were only off by one degree. So I will account for that in the code. And then periodically get the timer data in intervals of 10 seconds. For this video, I didn't want to do the whole project. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. I changed this threshold to be zero seconds so we can see the data coming in much faster and um, wrote a little Python code to actually grab the data and save it off into the correct format so we can easily make a graph later. All right, now let me show you a little snippet of the code. Here we go. So, <laughs> let me go to the top here. All right, here is the program where I'm using the analog A0 pin. Um, reading from the temperature sensor here I'm accounting for that one degree um, difference from the actual temperature and converting it to Fahrenheit I have a few counter checks in there for the stabilization threshold and just a few printouts all right now I'm going to show you just how this is going to work so let me open up spider which is a python tool oops I actually have it open over here already and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start this and then I'm going to reset that. Thank you. And for, the reason for resetting it is so we can start getting data from the Python terminal because this is just reading all the serial input. All right. Now, as you can see, it's the temperature is stabilized. We're doing just 70 data points for this. I'm going to throw the temperature sensor into the cold water and we can see very slowly that this sensor will start to actually change it's going to get colder it's just in an ice water bath so it's not technically freezing water um, but we'll definitely start seeing it plummet um, so what I'm also going to do is just kind of switch over since we're only doing 70 data points to a warm water bath so then we'll eventually see the temperature become stabilized and then it should start going up here in a few minutes unfortunately I probably should have went the reverse order but as you can see it's starting to get hotter again and that is just kind of the demonstration I would like to show for this video um, if you would like to see the actual graph from the project description I will show you this is my data from putting the temperature sensor into the refrigerator and taking it out as you can see there's the drop of initial stabilization going into the fridge and then taking it back out. Great, thank you guys so much for watching my video.